what is the best thing about being at this age old age is just mind over the matter is yes, i believe that i am at the best age of my life because now i can sit back relax and enjoy the life now i am more wiser and experienced than before i can do whatever i want to do and i look for more positives than negatives i am a gynecologist and obstetrician by profession and working for last 40 years and in all these years i have brought tens and thousands of babies to this world my work and my profession is very stressful anxiety provoking and needs a lot of hard work but the joy of giving the baby to the parents surpasses all the pains being a mother and an obstetrician i have learned to grieve with the patient and to celebrate with their joys this profession has made has made me more humble and compassionate what advice do you have to give to women today in today's time it is extremely essential for the women to be self reliant and independent a good value system takes you a long way and increases your confidence to achieve your personal and career goals as it is said you cannot pour from an empty vessel it is very very important to take care of yourself also before you help others you should take care of your fit physical fitness happiness and needs what according to you is the secret of a happy life happiness is the state of mind and an individual feeling you are happy if you focus on positives and are happy and satisfied with what you have you should have a balanced life and have a strong network of family and friends you should also learn to find joy in little things when everyone around you is happy you are happy what do you remember about the place you grew up at i grew up in a very beautiful green city with wide roads that is bhopal which is the capital of madhya pradesh i studied in the best of the school of the city which shaped my personality even in limited resources we enjoyed life and that is always in my memories what am uh, what invention in your lifetime amazes you the most i belong to a era when computer was not popular but now computer internet and evolving technologies really amaze me when we were students we used to sit for hours together in the library to have the references on the subject but now everything is available on just a click we can know about the newer operative procedures we can gain knowledge and we can have experts views on the subject by clicking on the computer second thing which amazes me is the connectivity when we were young we used to write letters and we used to wait for the answers to come to talk on a phone call we used to sit for hours together but with this connectivity now we can connect with anybody family friends or anybody any expert over the globe in few seconds what was your first job i did my internship and house job as a part of my medical curriculum but thereafter i did not do any job from the very beginning i was a private practitioner and later on became the owner and director of a 50 bedded hospital i was always my own boss tell us about your childhood what childhood memory would you like to share with us my father was my inspiration he gave a lot of importance on education he taught me to be honest to be independent 
and have a high moral character. He never differentiated between a boy and a girl from the very beginning. He inspired me to do various activities like singing, public speaking, writing articles, etc. Both my parents taught me to have a balance between work life and life at home. What I am today, I attribute everything to them. What defines a woman's strength according to you? A strong woman should be independent, should have her own identity and should be confident. She should be able to speak her mind, her views, her opinions on any matter. She should be standing by the truth and she does not need any validation for her acts. What is your passion? I have many interests like singing, painting and traveling and that gives me a lot of satisfaction. But what drives me the most is to educate and empower the women around me.